so this lecture is students about soaps and detergents and we'll be able to know uh, what are the soaps and what are the detergents and what is the major difference between soaps and detergents and also some historical perspective of the synthesis of detergents why their synthesis was required and the main focus of this lecture is to let you know about the environmental implications of detergents and which one is good for environment and why and what are the environmental implications of detergents so this would be our main aim detergents they are uh, basically cleaning materials and the term detergent it is applied to a wide variety of cleaning materials that are used to remove soil from the clothes dishes and many other uh, materials so their basic function is to remove the dirt soil from the clothes dishes and other materials so the chemically the detergents they are organic in nature and they contains a material called the surface active agent or surfactant uh, the ordinary so soaps or the common soaps or classical soaps we know they actually derive from fats and oils by a process known as sponification and sponification uh, it's kind of a special kind of a hydrolysis where an alkaline agent is present to neutralize the fatty acids as they form so in this slide you can see the example of sponification process that the animal fat or fats they uh, been hydrolyzed in the presence of an alkaline agent usually sodium hydroxide and as a result of the hydrolysis uh, the byproduct would be the crude soap now let's students try to differentiate the soaps and detergents actually many people they used to confuse what is actually the difference between soaps and detergents there are some chemical differences we can differentiate but what is actually the major difference although both the purpose of both the soaps and detergents it's the same the, they are cleaning agents hmm, to clean the variety of surfaces both have the surface active agents they can clean effectively however the difference lies in their synthesis soaps they actually uh, usually soaps are made from the materials that are found in the nature while the detergents most of them they are synthetic in nature so although some of them the, their ingredients may be natural but most of the detergents they are synthetic in nature so soaps uh, the classical soaps they've been found the uh, materials from the nature like fats hydrolysis of fats that would result in the uh, uh, crude soap while the detergents they they will be found they be, can be synthesized by using synthetic materials so they were uh synthesized during the world war 2 when specially uh, there were a uh, supply of the uh, oils was limited so at that time uh, it uh, due to the necessity the detergents they would be they were synthesized so let's see the advantages and disadvantages of both soaps and detergents uh it's quite clear that soaps since the classical soap that been derived from the natural materials and then things from the natural materials organics they could be from natural organic things they they would be more environment friendly it's it's quite an evident a well known thing so soaps they are more environment friendly as compared to detergents however uh, in terms of their cleaning effects detergents they are more efficient uh, soaps they depend upon the impurities in the water or the hardness in the water if hardness containing ions like calcium and magnesium ions uh, they would be uh, present in the significant amount in your water so the uh, soap they react with the they can replace the sodium ions the calcium ions they can replace the sodium part of the soap and hence they form insoluble scum uh, and they can precipitate out from the water and the cleaning effect would be affected 
while in case of detergents they may be made of different chemicals they are of different nature cationic anionic and non ionic so they can be used uh, even in the hard water they could they could not exchange the ions depending on their type on in case of environmental impacts they are detrimental to the fish and other uh, wildlife it may be released into the environment due to their toxicity due to their persistent nature the detergents they would have might have different types and with respect to the some charge they acquired in the water or not while they been applied we can divide them into three main types anionic non ionic and cationic detergents cationic are the ones that acquires actually positive charge while the anionic that acquires negative charge and while non ionic ones are they don't have acquire any charge when they been applied in the water so here are some examples of detergents of anionic cationic and non ionic nature so some detergents they get when dissolved into the water they give overall negative charge on the organic part and some acquire positive charge on the organic part and some don't don't acquire any charge now after knowing the uh, what are the soaps detergents and what kind of a types detergents would have uh, and what's the major difference between soaps and detergents so this is one of the most important slide for uh, environmental students concerned with environmental science and engineering the impacts of detergents on the environment as we know soaps they are basically more environment friendly as compared to detergents but the detergents they have some marked detrimental effect on our environment <clears throat> let's see the first uh, the phosphate nutrient loading so while applying detergents uh, they can increase the especially the phosphate detergents the detergents having phosphates in them so they increase the phosphates into water so which, what would happen that can cause plant eutrophication it would increase the algal growth phosphates is an important nutrient for the algae so with the increase in the algal growth there would be large algal blooms they can be seen on the fresh waters and they can affect the sunlight penetration and sunlight is an important source of energy and they can affect the dissolve oxygen when they float large algal blooms on the <coughs> fresh waters the second is the tox toxicity they can increase the toxicity the some of the uh, surfactants since they are synthetic in nature they they are highly toxic for the aquatic life and they can persist in the environment they would be difficult to biodegrade so they persist in the environment for long time and they can go and they can bioaccumulate biomagnify and then they can come to the humans when we eat fish or other uh, organisms uh, seafoods so some of the detergents they even uh, uh, if they biodegrade they can form toxic by products another issue with the detergent is that most of the detergents they come in some plastic containers and there would be an issue of then solid waste management they they add to the landfills uh, because of these uh, plastic made materials and some of the plastic they are non re uh, reusable and non recyclable another disadvantage of the using uh, synthetic detergents is that uh, many of the different detergents they are bactericides they kill actually the bacteria due to the toxic in nature so what's the harm killing bacteria bacteria they are some of them they can cause disease but many of different types of bacteria they are useful us and in the environment they can play an important role in biodegradation in nat naturally the when the waste water flows the bacteria in it they degrade the, uh, the break down the organic uh, pollutants but if the or persistent nature of organics they can come into the waters such as the detergents it's difficult to bacteria and some of the detergents they even kill the bacteria as they affect the natural process and add to the uh, toxicity into the 
water. Detergents, they can also affect the wastewater purification processes. Wastewater uh, uh, purification process is based on the uh, uh, classical biological methods uh, like waste stabilization ponds, activated carbons, trickling filters, RBCs. They can be affected biological processes where the detergents, if they would be, there would be high load of uh, uh, detergents into the water. They can kill the bacteria. So while killing the bacteria, they can affect the wastewater treatment process.